Good day, how are you? Oh, let me get out of here. I can't see a screen at the moment because everything's, there we go. Everything's all taken up by this big board I've got here. Ugh. G'day, how are you? I'm Steve Hay. This is Woodworking Masterclass. Might be Masterclass Disasters, I don't know. I've got this big frame. Um, as you can tell, it's quite pretty uh, and it's big. But the problem is it's not timber. It's made out of some sort of composite chemical um, sort of rubbish. And no disrespect, but it is, it's rubbish. And um, if it was timber, I wouldn't have a drama. But I do have dramas. And I've been playing around with this for a while. And I was just about to throw my hands up in despair. And I thought, tell you what, I'll, I'll go live and you never know, you never, <laughs> the added pressure might help. So anyway, no guarantees, but I hope you're all well. Um, if you've had a good weekend in Australia or it's Saturday everywhere else in the world, g'day, welcome. Who's popped up? I've got chat over in this side because I can't see anything for this big board. So... The Craftsman Studio, hi, hi Derek, g'day James, g'day Andy. Oh, look at that, it's nice to know I've got people here. I really was, um, I was at the point where I just, I was going to give up on it because it is a nightmare. Uh, but I've got a couple of ideas I'll try and if I can get it done, I've lost my doodab, oh no, there it is. Um, We'll have success. And you, you've been here when it happened. And if it's, a, if it's a disaster, you can say you were there when that happened too. But, uh, yeah, look, it's too big to do anything easily with. And uh, the moulding on it, I've got all my controls over here at the moment, so I'll go off camera now and again, but you can tell the moulding's quite um, special. It's not flat, so I've got no flat surface. The only flat surface really I've got is the back. So I've just had some ideas and I thought I'd give them a go. And we'll see what happens. If I get that done, I've got a little bit of routering to do on um, part of the tester for the bed. The bed is coming along well. I'm actually, uh, haven't started French, well, I have started French polishing. I've been putting, um, the, the grain fill on at the moment, but that's up in another shed. And I've been doing bee boxes and I just broke my, oh, broke my, um, uh, what do you call it, brand, unfortunately. The, the thread came out, so I'm going to have to re-weld that. But that's the one it broke on, so it's not all that brilliant. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to... Do something with that. That's a job for Mora. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've had chooks in here all day. I just had to skedaddle them out. Or I'll be treading on them. But yeah, it's been a busy day. It's been hot. I've got the air conditioner on in here. It's been really, really steamy and sticky. G'day, T-Bone. G'day, Steel and Wood. Nathaniel, good morning, afternoon. Vinny, g'day. Did you get my router plane question message? No. Uh, when did you send them, mate? I haven't really looked at my phone today. Uh, the last message I got was the brewskis. And I thought, I thought it was coffee. And then when I blew the picture up, I thought, oh, no, that's beer, you idiot. Tell you what, if I was drinking, man, I'd have a beer after this. Whoa. So what I'm going to try and do, I don't know if we can get that. Where are we? No, not in the picture there. What I'm going to try and do is, see, and it's had the um, picture frame as staples put in it, and as you can tell, it's all broken out. So what I'm trying to do is stabilise this somehow. So what I thought, I don't know how, oh, this is a new glue I'm using until I, I got sent this, I've got to do some videos for these people. This, this isn't one of the videos, but if it turns out, I'll happily give it to them. Um, 
multi-use sieve glues almost any, anything. So I'm really, really hoping that it does the job here. I did have another uh, product, I won't mention the name. Uh, it was a polyurethane glue and I'm a bit disappointed. I opened it, it might have been a while ago, and I only did one little job with it and the whole lot's crystallised, so I had to throw it away. But thankfully, the good people uh, sent me this, so we will see. I don't know what the... I haven't even got me good glass. Oh, hang on. We'll see how we go. These are slightly stronger. What's it? <laughs> slightly stronger? <laughs> They've got oil all over them. I was staying in the beehives last night and I splashed. Oh, that's better. Splashed stain everywhere. Adhesive set times, wallpaper drives 15, 20. Timber to timber, 30 to 90. Ceramic to glass and chlorus sets in two to five. In case full strength. Okay, so we've got a chance with this. We've got a chance. What I'm thinking of doing is putting some glue on, matching that up as good as I could. I could put a biscuit in there, I guess, but I don't want to because my biscuit machine's all fired up for something else. Um, and put just a, um, a bit of security across there and staple that in, which I'm hoping allows me to then put this in the Nobis uh, framing set up. And I'm just wondering if I've got any double-sided tape here, which I do. This is a big, this is a big job, I tell you. And what I will do inside, eh, come here, don't you dare fall off. Inside the corners on the Nobus, Nobex, sorry. Now, I'm pulling, pulling my TV frames everywhere. On the Nobex corners, which are these little critters here, I really am running out of space, I'm going to put double-sided tape. So when I put it onto the corners, it should hold, and then I get some um, pressure on it. Fingers crossed, everyone, cross your fingers. Oh, yeah, I should have, no, I shouldn't have done this earlier in the morning. As I was helping Susie this morning, we were doing cooking. It was fun. I mean, I can't read with those glasses on. Oh, dear, oh dear, what are we up to? Um... So I'll check my phone, um, Daryl. I haven't got it with me at the moment. I'll just check. No, it's up at the house. Nice to start Sunday. Oh, isn't that lovely, Andy? Thanks for that. What type of welder? Meg Teagle stick. For welding what? What, what am I welding? Randall? I've either got Oxy or um, Mark. They're the two I use. Or, or uh, faggot welding welding in uh, the forge. No, I haven't got any migs and tigs. Too old school. G'day, Jared. Router planes, flat blades versus angles, pros, cons, cons if any. Flat blade versus angle blade. Don't know. Wait until I get through this, mate, and I'll have a look and I'll see what I've got down there. All mine are flat. In the ones that come to a point, they're for getting into corners. Um, I prefer just the flat ones, this normal, common variety. Oh, there you go. They're the ones I mainly use. In fact, they'll always use. I don't think I've ever had all for using the um, corner ones. If I do need to get in the corner, I can generally do it with a chisel. All right. Let's see how we go. Oh, this is a nightmare. I, I hope you got some popcorn and something or other because I, I tell you what, I've just realised beer in the fridge. I'm tempted to have. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. That'll go. This is one of those things I think where I've got to have everything pointing in the right direction 
for one shot. Okay. And by the way, these are two lovely ladies. I've got, I got this job. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a sucker for a place. What can I tell you? Oh. Well, let me just, if I can find that little there. So, Till and Liz, if you're watching, I, I really enjoyed that afternoon. It was cool. I'd like to do it. Ah. Uh. Now, nope, two lovely ladies, uh, sisters, I think, and um, it was one of those jobs that I didn't particularly go out and it sort of found me. And I just thought, why not have a go? <clears throat> I mind you, I was honest. <laughs> I said, I'll do my best, but there is no guarantees this is going to work. And they were quite happy. So uh, that's good. Uh, okay. What it is, I'll tell you what it is. It's um, a big frame for one of those, I don't know what they call them. Uh, what do you, what do you, memorabilia frame for a band. Some of you are old enough to remember Jam. Jam. And it's got one of their guitars in it, and it's all signed, and it's got their hit CD, and so it's it's worthwhile doing up. I might end up making a whole new frame if I can't get this done. But it was this young girl's private session, and somebody came in and yeah, she was moving, I think, and someone came in and dropped something the top, smashed the glass, smashed the frame, smashed everything else, and she was heartbroken. And you can't have heartbroken people in the world. You've got to do your best to help them out. So that's it. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. G'day, Red Lotus. Thanks for dropping in. You mentioned welding something, couldn't recall what it was now. Hi, Steve. Um, oh, uh, yeah, um, my brand for the um, B boxes. Oh, no, I'll braze it, so it'll be oxy because it's only a brass, um, brass brand. I should actually get one made in steel because it's pretty hairy. I, I can heat it up to about. 600, I'll go to 660, which is a melting point of aluminium. Brass is about 890, I think, and copper's just over 1200. Um, so, yeah, I, I heat it up in the forge and I've got a, a thermo temperature thing. So, as soon as it hits about 600, 620, I take it off and I can brand five boxes and I run out of heat, then I've got to put it back in the fire. But once, once, I. Um, how does that work? <laughs> Once I um, left it in the fire and forgot about it, and when I came back, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have a brand, and I was cleaning. Uh, the, I think they call the well, the uh, the grate at the bottom of the forge out a while ago, and there's this great big lump of brass there, and I thought, wonder what that is. Well, there you go. That was what was left of my brand. So I'm going to have to take these clips out because they're not doing me any favours. And that's all right. That's sort of all right. Um, um, um ba -dum -bum. all right, am I going to do this? I've got to somehow rather get up here. Oh, mm. no, I'll put that up there. I'll bring this down here and then I'll spin these around.
And I'll see if I can get a decent fit on that. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the one, T-Bone. Yeah, a shadow box frame. Good evening, Richard Ross. Thanks for dropping on. G'day, Ian. G'day, James. Something. Uh, yeah, no, I've got that bit. Yep, right, we're there. Sick note said. G'day, mate. Um, yeah, it's, look, I don't know if it will because it's that. Uh, I don't know what it's. It's not something I can really put much stress in. You're right, a butterfly joint would work absolutely marvellously. And if it was timber, I'd do it. But it's not, it's this foam sort of stuff. And um, <clears throat> I'm just hoping I can get a mitre joint good enough. Then, once it's sorted together, I might be able to get adventurous and put a butterfly in there or something. No. I was hoping for those to stay in, but they're all going to come out. And it's just ripping it to bits. What I don't want to do is the front of the frame because that will ruin my afternoon. God, I think, I think we're in with a chance here. I don't know how I'm going to get up there and do it. That's the thing I love about not planning. You gotta work it out. If you plan it, you spend so much time planning stuff, you don't have to get around to doing it. Okay. All right. Never used this before, so let me put my, my goggles on. See if it's a double-sided application. Clean all surfaces from dirt and grease. Shake bottle well. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't tell you to take the top off, but I'm guessing you're going to have to break the top. Apply to one surface. Okay. Apply to one surface. That's what I wanted to know. All right. Well, we'll apply to this surface. Sort of like a Mod Podge, sort of thing. La -da -dee. It can't be as easy as this. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, I'd... I'm on ridiculous, but I'll just watch the last, or well, the latest, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious 9. Nah. Nah, I'm sorry. I'll swallow a lot of them. But that one's just a little bit too outrageous for me. Okay. Now, I'll put that in there. Wait a minute. I've got some wedges over here. Have a handful of them. Uh, and see if I can make it any better. It's not core flute, but it's pretty much like it. Yeah. 
jak these are just to hold it together while I put the frame around it and then once I've got the um, clamp around it, I mean. Once I've got the clamp around it, we'll might have a better idea of what's going on. It's really interesting the jobs that come across your workbench. And as you can tell, my workbench was too small for this one. Change glasses, read chat. Uh, G'day Max! How you going? How's your foot going, mate? Hope you're feeling better. Don't doubt yourself, Randall. Enough people to do that for you. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da. Yeah, you gotta watch it with brands. There's a, a fine line. Who was that song? A fine line between pleasure and pain. There's a fine line between success and disaster, mate. No, I'm gonna leave that. I'll leave that one in. We'll see how we go. Well, I put the glue. Now I'm gonna get up the other end. I'm really hoping this is more towards the hour end and the 20 minute end. Yeah, it's like a, a foam, sort of. There used to be something when I was a kid, um, we used to put in uh, sailing boats and it was two chemicals and when they came together they all throffed up made a foam for buoyancy that's what it's like but I would imagine this wouldn't have been ow splinter wouldn't have been cheap so why wouldn't they do something decent with it I don't know ramblings of an old man okay I'm gonna go up the other end so I don't know what you'll be seeing. Uh, what will you be seeing? Oh, I'll flip this around so you can see me messy workshop. There you go. Mm, see if you can get something happening there. Oh, move this camera out of the way. <laughs> For those that are you that are new, you can tell this is not scripted. It's just by the seat of your pants, however it goes. Hey, and if you're new to the channel and, really, and you like it, I'd really appreciate a sub and hit the bell and you'll know when I'm coming on next. What's going on here? Why do I got that? I don't want that. over here, if I can get it, that would be good, looking good so far. All right, we're marginally there, depending on what you want to call it, Let's put a bigger piece on that one. I'm 
looking forward to a tidy workshop. I promised myself once I finish these current oh lot of V boxes. I don't know if you saw any of that, sorry. Um, I am going to tidy the workshop. So this week it's going to be tidying week. Well, after Thursday maybe. Here we go. Put it around there so you can see what I've done there. I've just decided to glue that. And I'm going to do the same with this. There you go. Go there. Whoa. I'll go up the other end. Fingers crossed. Last an obstacle course and a half. got me chucky treats. <laughs> oh, they're funny. It's the three, I've, I've named them all after Peanut. So I've got Snoop, who comes in a lot. And then I've got Peanuts and Lucy. Let's just change this around. And um, yeah, the three of them know that there's a private cache of food in here. And the other chooks don't let them in the roost at night, which is a bit rude because there's a heap of room, enough room for everybody, but they just won't let them in. So they get treats that the other chooks don't. There we go. La -da -da All right. I don't know how we're going to go because I've never, never tried this before, but we'll give it a go. Fingers crossed, you mongrel. Get out of there. Okay. That's got a little bit of a kick on it up here. Let's pull that one down a bit. Which was that one? That one, that's all right. So far, looking good. What I'm going to have to do is take those braces off in a minute. So I can get a proper closure on it. Thing. Wrong way around. Uh, 
Ah. That felt as if something else popped off then. That one's popped off. It's all right. We have, oh, you mongrel. Yeah, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. If I can hold that one and get this one back up, I'm going to be happy. You mutt. I'll tell you why that one's not sticking properly. It's because... Um, it's not even. The corner's chipped out. That was it, the divinals, Chrissy Hyman. Oh, yeah. So and so. Well, those two are still holding. This one's still good. I don't somehow think I'm going to get the routing done. I don't think I'm going to be able to move this. So I'll do the routing tomorrow. Well, that, that means I'll be screaming again tomorrow. Look at that. What a bonus. And now you're wondering what I was going to do tomorrow. Well, I've just found out. What have we got? Oh, are you right? I'll read, I'll read that in a minute. I'm just going to come back and do this again. Just trying to think of what else I've got. There's not much else I've Got that will do a, a frame this big. That one looks like it's gonna be the next one to pop. That's looking all right. That's looking all right. Yeah, that's looking all right. That's looking sus. Got to get this top one off here. So, oh, I can have a read now. Samuel. <laughs> Thanks, Samuel. You should be inside my head at the moment. It's going 10 to the dozen. Oh, dear. Ah, bum ba dee dee. Ba -da -da. Randall, I have my cattle brands from when I was a kid. And oh, that'd be good. That'd be, that'd be a nice keepsake, wouldn't it? You can put it on your woodwork. I'm still half asleep. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's better than going to hospital, though. It's more fun. Oh, what was the other thing I'm starting to watch? Oh, yeah. Um. Oh.
Um, Tomorrow's War, I think it's called. Sci-fi one. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, that was the show I was telling you about the other day with Sue and I, Susie and I were watching. Um, oh, I've forgotten now. Oh, oh Alex Ryder. Alex Ryder, yeah. What a top show that is. That one just, is just good stuff. It's a cross between, you mongrel, cross, cross between James Bond and The Secret Seven. So can't get elastic bands as big. I suppose I could get an inner tube. Oh, I just saw that and I thought that's going to go and then I was talking, so I should not talk, should I? Come on. Let's do it all again. Gently, gently. Was that slowly, slowly catchy monkey or whatever it's called? Oh, it would be nice to have another pair of hands. And then that'd be someone else to blame, wouldn't it? Well, he's doing it by yourself. If it doesn't work out, it's just you. That's going to go in a second too, I can tell. Okay, just got this corner to take off. Everyone hold your breath, please. We'll see if we can do it. Uh, mutt. What was that, the end one? Yeah. Dog breath. I can see the possibility of it all falling apart. But don't give up just yet. We're still in with a chance. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, they have a clean workshop. That means you're not busy. Okay. Now, that one's going to come up. I can see that. That one's looking all right. You... Person of questionable origin. Put some more tape on that. Oh. <whistles> Can't find my knife. I'll have to use my pocket knife. Might have to put some more braces in there, I think. Let's see if I can. Get it half done in there. There we go. 
See those little wedges come in so handy. I think if all the corners were right, it would be nicer. But you can only work with what you can work with. I reckon. Here we go, right? This is Theo's. One more cut. Oh, come on. It's, a, it's always the last one that breaks a camel's back. But we might have a win. It's feeling pretty flat, actually. All right. As you can tell, Randall, I didn't get there on Friday. I had to go to Everton Park, so I picked some stuff up elsewhere. But we will catch up, mate. Actually, what I'd like to have done be put some resin in here. Thank everyone for watching, because I really didn't know if I was going to do it or not. Where are we up to? Um, ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee, you're half asleep. Max, how's your garden going? Your chickens, bet they love the wood shavings you put in. Mate, they, they're spoiled rotten. They are spoiled rotten chickens. I kid you not. But they're worth it. The goose is a treat. Actually, the veggie garden, I sort of let them into it today to have a peck and a play because I've got to redo a lot of it. And I thought, well, let them have some fun. Okay. What's going on there? I think that's okay, you know. Andy, until I've had my morning cup, mate, until I've had three morning cuppers, I'm not good. What I will do, I think I'll put some more bracing on here, though. Just to make sure. Actually, that might be an idea. What about if I get some of this sawdust I've got here and shove down in there? Might work on that too. This is from the router the other day. And there you go. That's another good reason not to have a tidy shed. There's always stuff on the floor you can use.
Till I have you watching this and you know how much pain and suffering's going into it. Okay. I'll do the same up the other end. Oh. I don't know, someone might have the same thing that they got to repair and this might even help you. But I'm not moving it until tomorrow, I can tell you that much. So I said I was going to do some routing, but no, not going to now. I'm just hoping that it um, didn't like the sound of that. Didn't like the sound of that one either. Oh. I'm just hoping that it's reasonably close on the corners underneath. That one looks as if it's going to go next. Ah! When am I going to learn? Leave it alone. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. Oh, I know what I can do. Yeah, I'm streaming and um, yeah, so you might be able to give me a hand. I'm just trying to put this frame together. Ah! Hello, Shuey. Oh. Yeah, I just thought, if I can get this put together, I will. Can you maybe give me a hand? Come around the other side of that screen, if you can get there. Okay, can you now hang on to this one here? Now I go right around the... That's it, now just hang on it, no pressure. Just hang on to it there. Yeah, 
Got it? Yeah, hang, even hang on to that other one. No, just, that's it, just hang on to that and make sure they stay there. I'll make sure that one stays there. Let's get a, a thought. I don't know if it was a good thought, but I'll just have oh, one. Okay. Like, if you're smart now, she'd have to put it in the line. Leave that for So, what was your thought, darling? Just putting a clamp on here to hold this one on. not going to work. Um, that one needs to come up a little bit. No, hang on to it. But spring off the top. Hello, everyone. We're still here. Yeah, just hold it like that so it doesn't come off. Just wondering. You didn't think you'd be doing this when you came down. No, I didn't. There you go. Then I know when I come down. Anything, anything could happen. happen. It's true. Unexpected. Oh. That's it. Yeah, if you plan unexpected, you're never disappointed. And I should be up shortly. Okay. I'm sure everyone said, Good night, Sue. <laughs> under pressure today, under pressure. Oh, dear, oh, dear. There we are. I think we've done it. I think, I think that's fixed it. I did. I've needed you for five years. Just for this moment. Uh, I think we had a win. All right. So what I did, I put corner clamps to hold the Nobix clamping in place, as you can see. And I think we're going to be okay. Now, let me uh, how's your garden? We got up to there. Richard, good morning. How are you, mate? What a surprise. Must go feed the... I just put my chickens to sleep. Not to sleep permanently. Put them to bed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, I, was, I didn't mind the first couple, but, yeah, no, they sort of got a little bit silly after that, but... There again, I watched that. It means they made some money out of it. What can I tell you? Biscuit joined the Midas. Might be... Yeah, I thought about that, Jared, but the thing is this. It's um, some sort of foam composite material and there's just no strength in it. Uh, I don't know if you saw me pulling these corner um, staples out. Yeah, it's just got no strength. So if I put the biscuit in there, 
and I did what I did here with the clamping system, it would have turned it up and I most likely got a great big chunk in the So I did think of that. I did think of that. <laughs> you reckon, Andy? Yeah, no, I, I did. I've ran about the dishwasher. I've, I got a story I can tell, but I'm not going to. As I said, Sue and I, we were, we were in it today making jams and, oh, she's gone. Um, chutneys, uh, spreads. Oh, it was great. No, I had a good time. G'day, Alan. Long time now here, mate. I hope you and Kath are well. And, and you, we're doing well too. <laughs> I love your confidence, Max. I wish I had a spoonful of it. <laughs> no, that's the best news I get. That's not strictly true. <laughs> you threaten me family in any other way, you definitely see a different part of me, I'll tell you. But woodwork, no, we can fix it. It's, it's not the end of the world. And the good thing about a job like that, it's stuffed anyway. So I can only improve it. I'm just hoping after all this effort that the glue actually holds. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Oh, starting to go off now, so that's a good sign. Oh, dear, oh, dear. The things we're doing on... Pick it up and look at it tomorrow, but I'm not going to do it now. <clears throat> Where are we? Here we go. Ah. <laughs> no, was that no comma, she'll be right, or was it no, she'll be right? <laughs> oh, dear, eh? Oh, Vinny, you spoil me. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? But it's a family show. What can I tell you? I've got to be, I've got to be, because, yeah, look, there's no point in losing your rag over things. That's not to say I haven't in the past, but, oh, uh, no, we'll just give it the best shot we can. And if it works, we're in front. If it doesn't, well, it didn't. Richard's off, going to feed the chick. Okay, see you, Richard. Spring clamps to hold. Well, that's what I did. Did you tell, tell me that before I did it? I don't know. Sounds good to me, though. It works. Could you glue cords and clamps? Uh, yeah, Presto, I had um, bracing on there before with, with these. I, I just staple them into position to hold it. Then I put double-sided tape on the corners of the clamp. And obviously, clamps on the corner clamps are this, is the way to go. G'day, Jeff. Yeah, T-Bone, if you have a piece of MDF or plow a slightly larger frame, you could put blocks on all four corners. Then we're just afraid. Yes, it's all carried away. Too much. I think that the, the biggest problem with is because it's not timber. If it was timber, I wouldn't have an issue. It'd be easy peasy, but it's not. It just sort of crumbles. But anyway, I think we might have done it. Good day, Louise. Hey, I hope you're all well. See, we all know about your foot, Max. There's no secrets. Oh, good day, Andrew. What do you mean you passed my house? Oh, you went, you mean the back way. Say, you can't pass my house on the front way going on a drive. The back way. I would have been there. It was Louise Pillion or you just got for a bit of free air? Yeah, it was good timing, wasn't it? Well, it's 20 past seven. I'm normally in the house by seven, so she came down to give me a hurry up. 
See, Vinny, I need you here. <laughs> you're, I don't know what you do for a job, but you're wasted talent. You should be here. Oh, yeah, look, I don't know. It, it's, it varies from 15 minutes to five hours. So I'm hoping by tomorrow morning it's going to be dry. No, it's not I put my hand to a max. I want to put myself under pressure and go live. See, because then I've got to pretend I'm clever, <laughs> which I'm not. But I think, I think we dodged a bullet with that. It's feeling pretty good. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to tension it again. That's it. But what I will do is, so, I know, look, I, I really want to move it, but I'm not, no, nah, I'm not going to touch it. Um, but I will, I think I'll go up. So, hey, thanks for coming and giving me a bit of moral support. That's a job out of the way. I can get rid of that on Tuesday. And um, Les, if you're watching, I'll see you Tuesday. Yeah, because I'm not going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to leave it at least another 24 hours. So I tell you what, I could have a couple of glasses of Coke you were drinking the other day too, Tis. But anyway, Phil, sorry. Um, but no, nah, that's good. So if you get a big job, two ways you can fix it. Give it to someone else to fix or take your time, think laterally outside the box. And if you really want to do it without swearing or losing your temper, go on a live stream because that's it. You've got nice people watching you. Again, if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for dropping in. I'm Steve Hay. This is Woodworking Masterclass. And I would appreciate it. Hit the sub button and the bell button. And I will be on again tomorrow taking the clamps off this and got a bit of router work and ebonising to do on that bit and some sanding and finishing of some bee boxes there. So I think I'll fill my morning quite nicely coming back on stream. So until then, let me just catch up with anything else that's happening out there. Um, Macca. Is that Macca or Mark? G'day, mate. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're real people or memes. But good day. In any case, I'm easily pleased. That's it. So this is Steve pulling the shed to a day and saying thank you. I could feel your good hopes and energies and um, stress levels when it kept on jumping off. But we got there. We had a win. So this is Steve pulling the shed to a day and saying remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe. Be kind to yourself and look after yourself and be kind to others. And I look forward to having your company in the workshop. If you can make it tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow morning, which, well, however that works with you. Um, and we'll see the finished result. No guarantees. It could all the bets want to take the clamps off. But I've got other stuff around here so we can do that. So in the meantime, God bless. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And I catch up with you again very, very soon with your company in the workbench. No, it was your company in the workshop at the workbench. Very soon. Now I've got to press this button here without knocking anything off. So there you go. I, won't, I promise I won't touch it, Vinny.